Alright guys, real quick I'm going to show you how to disassemble a 275 gallon tote like I have behind me and turn it into a wicking bed and or um, aquaponics setup. First thing you're going to do is take a star bit and disassemble the top section so you can remove the plastic and cut your tanks to what size you want them to be. So I'll go ahead and do that all the way around the whole thing. Alright, so real quick I'm going to draw around the tote of where I'm actually going to be cutting it. Just so I know and I have a straight line all the way around. Yeah, now I can take it out. Now I'm going to use a grinder and I'm going to cut around where I marked with the pen all the way around this to have the cage to house the new vessel that I'm going to flip upside down. Mm. Here we go. One little spot. There it is. There's your cage. All right, so I cut the little top off. Now I'm gonna mark this really well. Nice and level, straight so I know where to go with the grinder. All the way around. Alright guys, grinder wouldn't work so I'm going to try the skill saw. It was just burning. I think you're going to get away with battery powered tools but they always run out so we're going serious. Alright, now we got the piece that we cut earlier. We're going to put back on these little brackets and put the plastic back in here, flip it over, and we got an instant tank or wicking bed or whatever you want it to be. Alright, so now that I got that cut, you guys can kind of see where it's going to go. I got to build a cage and obviously lift it up off the propane tank. But that's going to be a raised bed with that little guy over there. And I'll show you how, I, how I'm going to hook it up. And it will actually, when that gets watered, it'll drain into this one down here and water this. So you're, you know, only watering one bed. And this one right here is a wicking bed. So the extra water that goes in there will fill up the reservoir and the plants will use that water. Conserve water. And then I'm debating on over here if this is going to be a bed or if I'm going to do trout in this and do a small aquaponics setup.